breakout college hoop superstar and number one draft pick Caitlin Clark just signed with the NBA's Indiana Fever for an are you ready? Are you ready? Seventy six thousand dollars. In fact, the entire yeah, let, 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 listen to me. Listen to this, because you yeah. if you thought that was some way to hear this, the entire fever payroll is one point two million less. That is less than the minimum salary for a single NBA player with a year's experience. So the women have the headlines, they have the fans, they have the viewers. When the hell are they going to get paid? I don't understand why if, because ESPN, who we work for also part of the Disney thing, yeah. you know, they came in and swooped in and said, oh, okay, we're going to get, yeah. we're going to start to do this. I don't understand why they didn't say, and I know that there's a, a re-up coming. There is. But they should have, they should have kissed this deal by taking care of all of the WNBA and giving them enough money for a bump up, because you know you have another deal to make. But they should have sweetened that deal. Let, I, let, me, let me just put it into context a little bit, because it does seem terribly unfair, right, the, the salary amount. Uh, yeah, I, so, yeah. I'm on the WNBA Board of Advocates, yeah, I know. so we were working on this collective bargaining agreement. Yeah. By the way, the new collective bargaining agreement that was signed in 2020 yeah. gave the players a 53% increase in salary. So that should that's tell how, you. Yes, that's how that bad it was. That should tell, you how, tell you how bad making. it was. Now, in context, though, um, they also got better travel arrangements because they were actually putting these very tall women in coach. They were sharing hotel rooms. Yeah. It was, they were riding terrible buses. So we, got, we, we came a long way from where we were, but ish. the bottom line is ish. But the bottom line is, you know, the, N, the NBA has been in existence for 50 more years than the WNBA. They do bring in more money. They bring in about, you know, several billion dollars as opposed to several million dollars. But times have changed. Mm -hmm. We know that this college basketball game was viewed by more people than all the men's college well, basketball it's, game. It's, it's this, bigger this than, tournament. It's so bigger it than the overall. Oh, sorry, Sunny. It's oh, bigger than the overall revenue. It's that 40% of NBA league revenues go to player salaries in the NBA. In the WNBA, they only put forth 10%. Yes. So mm -hmm. this isn't about they make billions, they make millions. No, this no, is that's a crappy that's what deal. It is. That's what it is but, for but it's, about but it's, because. Yeah, but because a new person, a new group has come in yeah. and could have sweetened all of that they well, should as have, a bump to the W. Well, like, well, the money they're point. bringing in, the Fanatics sold more Clark jerseys in one hour yeah. after she was uh, drafted yeah. than any other, other sport or player ever. Yes, yes. Well, that and, money, well, you know. And I think we're going to see a change. There's no question with the new collective bargaining we'll agreement. See, yeah, I, I, I think we're going to see key, a But the key is because the, the critics will say, well, it's the economics. They don't bring in as much revenue. But we learned from women's soccer that if you invest in promoting and being yes. on commercials, but, yeah. advertising, the viewers Remember, there was no WNBA to watch. Correct. They and didn't film the it. They didn't women's, show it. U.S. women's soccer ended up being more profitable than the men's team, and yes. it took the league so long to catch up. If yeah. you invest yes. in the players, in the merchandising, the viewers and will the be there. And the advertisers don't pay the WNBA um, broadcast as much as they pay the NBA broadcast. Well, the, but again, but I ESPN makes those deals. I put a lot of this on ESPN because I feel like if you're going to go for a brand new thing and you're going to, because you know they're not making any money, so it's a good deal for you at the moment. You know you're going to have to come in and collective bargain mm -hmm. late next year. But my feeling was, listen, when you took them on, you should have said, you know, we can't pay everybody what they're getting, but we're going to give you a, a, a jump. And, and I think you still have time to do that because these numbers, and yeah, you didn't used to show the WNBA. Let's, let's be honest with you. You, didn't, you weren't interested in women's sports. They were not. And can I no. just add this one thing? Yeah, this is sure. why Brittany Griner was in Russia and got detained yeah. for 10 yeah. months. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Let's remember that. She was detained because Russian, a Russian team paid her a million dollars a yeah. year. She just extended her contract with the WNBA for 150000 Yeah. Maybe Marjorie Taylor Greene okay. should move to Russia and make more money. <laughs> I don't know if she can play ball. Okay. 